We're about an hour and a half into this hike. We're supposed to make our way to a waterfall where there's a pool of water that we can swim in, but I think our group has gotten lost, or at least the uh, the <laughs> guide, the guide got lost. We just had to hop over a barbed wire fence and are now making a detour to who knows where. We'll see where we're going, but uh, I guess that's part of the adventure, right? <laughs> We are on our way to a hike just outside of Guatape, which is about two and a half, three hours east of Medellin. This is our first time out of the city. We are traveling with a local hiking group that Laura found on Facebook through a Women's in Medellin Facebook group. The hike costs 55,000 pesos per person, which is, uh, I'll put that right here. <laughs> uh, right now we are at a rest stop, a small ranch. There are some animals here to my right where you can pet and feed. We're grabbing breakfast and some coffee and then we're going to continue the drive to the mountain. I think Laura and I are the only foreigners <laughs> part of this group. Everyone else seems to be a local. Nonetheless, this is pretty exciting. San Rafael. The bus parked at the bottom of the town. The trek is about eight kilometers round trip and we are with a large group. To start off we did some stretching yeah. and then we got our brief and the the people that you see in the ne neon colored shirts and hats are part of a hiking group and they're the organizers behind this so it's really yeah. cool to join them to join them. We're getting a little gassed up because we're walking up a hill right now but so far so okay. far so good the weather is amazing it's a little hot it's a little warm obviously because we're walking and we're wearing long sleeve shirts but it's a perfect day for a hike let's go <laughs> inside the jungle now. It is nice and shaded from all of the tall trees. The stream is to my left. You can hear it in the background. It's pretty peaceful. The ambient sound of the jungle is really nice. This is definitely something we needed after being in the city for a week. The group that we're with is super friendly. Everyone's personable. They're asking questions, trying to get to know us, which is nice. Um, it's allowing me to practice more of my Spanish by listening to other people speak as well as Laura's. This is going to be about a three hour hike round trip. In between, we're gonna stop for lunch and then at the end of the hike, we're going to go to a pool, a natural pool, to get some swimming and cool down a little bit and then head back to the city. I think, I think it's of um, coconut and lime. It's really good. Mm -hmm. So we got one of these tickets here. And you'd exchange one of these for one of these. Boom! Oh, glasses. Let's <laughs> put the crema. Let's 
Gracias. Ah, sí. ¿Eh? What a hike. So what's really interesting about this is that uh, in certain areas there aren't any set trails and so we're walking across fields, over barbed wire fences in some cases, across streams, across people's yards. It's really neat to just soak in the surrounding environment and vegetation. The foliage is super nice. It's, it's green, it's fresh, the air is super fresh. Even though it's hot, um, this is still a very enjoyable hike. We made it to one of the waterfalls. This is the large waterfall behind me and it cascades below to a smaller waterfall, but it's essentially one waterfall. It's called Cascada La Honda. Uh, this is one of our destination points. There's a small pool at the bottom and there are some people from our group swimming in there. And we're gonna head to a larger pool after this one where uh, Laura and I will go swimming. It's a little awkward to change here, so we're gonna wait until we get over there. But this waterfall is really beautiful. It's super peaceful. I don't know if you can hear me because the splash of the waterfall is a little loud, but this is a sight to see. new friend guys as me as Posa Laura <laughs> We just got home from hiking in San Rafael. It has been a crazy long day. We finished hiking and swimming at about 3 p.m. and then we walked to the center of town where there was a bunch of festivities happening. Apparently locals from the surrounding pueblos come into the uh, town to pick up their goods for the week and so it was pretty busy and we got to hang out there for about an hour or so and then uh, we didn't leave the area until about 5.30, so we hit the road pretty late, expecting to get home about 7 or 8 p.m. at the latest, but there was a lot of traffic. If you've been to Medellin before, you know there's tons and tons of traffic, and the road that we took back was one lane each way, and so there was about, and like super windy, and you know, like Medellin is all mountains and so you have a lot of windy roads up and downs and hills and, and whatnot. Anyways, uh, about four hours later we get home, we're super starving. We ordered some food from McDonald's through Rappi. Rappi is a food delivery service and grocery delivery service. I normally don't eat McDonald's but tonight I'm making an exception just because it's sort of a uh, last option and Laura was sort of craving something in particular. but. Anyways, hiking was awesome. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you do come to Medellin, we do recommend checking out some hikes. Um, highly recommend checking out activities and hiking with local groups because it's a great way to uh, get involved outside of all of the touristic things, but also be able to practice your Spanish. We're gonna end the video here. 
If you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and you're likely not subscribed, so please subscribe to our channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Have a good night. See you later. We usually don't have this, but today we're making an exception because it's very late. It is... It's probably the worst time to eat McDonald's. It is 10.30, 10.40. You know, we'll, we'll just pretend this is research because every country you go to, McDonald's is a little different. Whoa, look at that. What is that? They pack the french fries like this for Oh, you. wow. It's, nice. It's like in a box so it doesn't fall out. Nice. Okay, Whoa. Pick the other things out. We got fried chicken from McDonald's. Fried chicken is oh, not found. Wow, this is like substantial. Fried this chicken is not found in American McDonald's. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I got the three piece meal and you just got the three piece. Yeah, and fried chicken in Colombia, I'm not sure if they do this anywhere else in the world, comes with syrup. Yeah, like they like this kind of, uh, yeah, it's like they like putting honey on here. So we're going to chow down. Yeah, Laura got one too. Dang. Dude. I know, we're starving. We're going to wake up with a bunch of heartburn. <laughs> we have not eaten since breakfast this morning. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So today was a bit of a struggle for us. So we're going to chow down. Yep. Yeah, anyways, good night.